Okay, something I wanted to add to this video before um, I posted it um, was this uh, way of speaking called E prime. Um, and I would type that into like Wikipedia or something, um, E dash prime. And it was, I don't know, it was popularized in my life by Robert Ant Wilson, um, which we talked about earlier when I was showing you guys the books. Um, but uh, I'm not really sure who came up with the concept. I don't know. But um, it definitely, it, it, Robert Ant Wilson talks about it in his, in his, uh, in his writing. And um, do read about it on Wikipedia. But it relates to when I was saying that our perceptions are different. Our perceptions of the same objects are relative. So, and I gave the example of the um, blue pen and me looking at it versus a dog looking at it. Both perceptions are valid, but they're different because they're relative. So, and that's why, to answer your question, I can't um, give answers. I can't, uh, and that's why I'm always seeking, uh, seeking other answers. I'm seeking as many different possible points of view, <laughs> I'm seeking as many different points of view as possible so I can try and gain this maybe something closer and closer and closer maybe to something that's absolute but not really because it doesn't work that way but I don't think so anyway maybe it does um, so in short I, I, uh, I wanted to say that E prime basically um, if you remove the word is from your vocabulary and other words that are kind of defining as absolute statements so instead of saying this pencil is blue, you would say this pencil seems blue. And so I know Wikipedia, there's an example of uh, like the poem, where the poem goes, roses are red, violets are blue, honey is sweet, and so are you. Now in E prime, because those are absolute statements, if you wanted to say that from your perspective, which is how you really want to say things because that's how you observe things, then you would say roses seem red, uh, violets seem blue, uh, honey tastes sweet, as sweet as you. And so that kind of uh, is, is possibly a more uh, correct way of saying something um, because it makes it less absolute and more tailored to individual experience. And I think maybe if everyone did that, communication would be easier for people and, and people would be able to commu communicate maybe better. I don't know. I think that's worth trying. Um, so look that up and um, I think that's about it. So thanks a lot for watching.